Hey guys, welcome back to Rootset. Months before, I published a video about Edge Spritz and L293D motor driver and how you can control DC motors using Edge Spritz. In this video, I will tell you about L293D piggybacking. I will tell you how you can drive high current DC motors using this motor driver IC. I was building a 6 wheel drive RC car with suspension as a hobby project. I used to make a lot of wheeled robots so I already had some PCBs I designed with Arduino Pro Mini, SC12 wireless module and an L293D motor driver IC. All my previous robots were 3 wheeled or 4 wheeled and most of them had 2 or a maximum of 4 simple DC motors. So I didn't have to worry about the current. But this time it was different. It was the first time I was dealing with 6 high speed DC motors using a single IC. These motors drew around 350 mA. I assembled the robot, connected all the motors in one side to the output of motor 1 of the motor driver IC. Similarly, I did with the other side. Connections were perfect. The problem started when I pushed the throttle. The car moved like a tortoise and the motors made a humming sound. When I touched the IC, it was coursing. Single L293D was not able to provide enough current to drive all the DC motors. Actually, I was supposed to use separate DC motor drivers to drive the motor separately or I needed a high current DC motor driver. It was a mistake from my side. But in the end, I managed to use the same PCB to drive the robot without any lag or heating up the IC. How I solved this issue? Let us start piggybacking your L293D. As I mentioned earlier, L293D is a reduced type of edge split circuit in the form of an IC. L293D motor driver IC allows DC motors to drive on either direction without changing the physical circuit. It is an IC with 8 pins on each side, which contains two free edge split circuits, which means we can control two motors separately using a single IC. The left side of the IC deals with one edge split and the right side deals with the other. There is a pin called enable pin for both edge split circuits. The edge splits will work only if the enable pin is set to logic 1. Due to the high current flowing through the circuit, there are four ground pins employed in this IC. Of course, L293D is the most widely used motor driver IC among hobbyists and engineers to drive DC motors in their projects. They can be used to control both the direction as well as the speed of the DC motors. But there are certain limitations to this IC when it comes to high load or high current motors. One of them is the peak current. Check out the above piece of datasheet. Maximum current it can provide over a single channel is 600 mA or 1.2 ampere peak. With this current, L293D cannot drive multiple DC motors or high current motors. Since most of the PCBs are originally designed to work with L293D, you won't be able to use them for driving high current motors. So what to do about it? Well, I could use another motor driver IC, L29A10, the big brother of L293D which can handle an output current of up to 2 ampere. But the pinout is entirely different and so you won't be able to mount them in the place of L293D and use the same PCB. Guys, before going further, if you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. My solution was pretty simple. Put one on top of the other and solder them in parallel. Yes, a high current DC motor driver. Believe me guys, it worked like a charm. L293D piggyback configuration is an easy way to double or in my case triple the current as well as the power of L293D motor driver IC to drive high torque or high current DC motors. It is a speedy and simple technique to double the current output of L293D IC. So the entire thought is to solder another L293D chip straightforwardly over the present one, pin to pin. This puts the two chip in parallel mode so the voltage will remain the same as before but the current doubles. After piggybacking, they will provide output with 1.2 ampere persistent current and a peak current of 2.4 ampere for brief periods. In my case, I had three L293D ICs soldered on top which will act as high current DC motor driver so as to drive six high speed DC motors for my RC car. I checked the power and current flowing through them before and after piggybacking. There was a huge change in the power and the speed of the motor. Guys, if you are an Arduino enthusiast, you will surely like my 6 wheel drive off-road crawler with suspension using Arduino. Click here to see the demo. Subscribe to my channel for more updates. Take care guys, see you next week.